The prolonged stress of the pandemic has many people feeling just burned out emotionally, mentally and physically exhausted. It can come it can come at you from work, from home, from your relationships. And as our Sandra Ali shows us some ways here now to deal with that burnout. We hear a lot of buzz these days about burnout. Mental health experts say a lot of us are feeling that way right now, especially parents. Tom and Susie Sokol have three daughters who play travel sports. It's been a strain. I mean, the travel sports just takes it to a whole nother level. And part of that during last year was with remote training because of the restrictions and so on. But it's, it's really tough to balance it. Tom's not alone. In fact, burnout during the pandemic is a hot topic, especially among parents. It's probably the number one thing that we talk about uh, when we're watching the games or watching the practices or while we're traveling together. Burnout is on the rise. A study this past spring found 52% of people surveyed said they've experienced burnout in 2021, with the majority of them saying their burnout worsened during the pandemic. And COVID, with the never-ending changing information that's out, it's like we're constantly having to adapt. And if you add to that, then having to, you know, parent your kids and listen to your spouse and, you know, figure out how to make work happen and school happen and while still doing all the chores and feeding your kids and, you know, mm -hmm. it's a recipe for burnout. Dr. Molly O'Shea has been teaching parents ways to combat burnout. There's stress, there's burnout, and there's depression, right? Burnout is where you've had stresses accumulating over time, and you can no longer point to something and say, wow, that's why I'm burnt out, or that's the trigger. They accumulate over time, and you can't adapt. You, you, you just haven't found a way to adapt to all these stresses. And so that adrenaline that sort of pushed you through that stressful time, that adrenaline is spent and you are burned out. O'Shea says eliminate what you can and delegate. Look closely at what is necessary and what is not necessary that we are doing every day in our lives because the stress that we have comes from things that we have to get done, right? Sort of the chores of everyday life. And to what extent can we farm those out? to our spouse, to our children, to someone else, to a to a person who might come in and do those and mm -hmm. take some of that off the plate. Get your kids involved. Develop a chore team. So once a week for an hour that week, you develop a list of the tasks that need to get done and one person is the team leader for those tasks. That rotates. It's not always the parent, it'll be the kid, and the next week a different kid. Everybody in the family's engaged, and the work gets done. And find ways to recharge. You and your partner decide, I'm gonna get up 15 minutes early, and you get the kids to bed 15 minutes later so that we each have that time to ourselves to read a book, to have a cup of coffee alone, to exercise, whatever it is that fuels you, it's important. Mental health experts say it's really important for parents to understand stress, burnout, and depression are all very different things, even though at times they may look and feel very similar. They all do have very different treatment options. Back to you.